No, it was just a joke. I won't make you to read all the time. I hope you enjoyed your holiday. And now we are learning something new. Let's start with unit number four. Ecosystems. There you are an example. In this unit, we are going to talk about the definition of ecosystems, the physical environment, and also the living things. We are starting with the definition of ecosystems. An ecosystem consists of all the organisms living in one place, as well as the physical environment they live in. Organisms in an ecosystem interrelate with each other. For example, in this desert, you can see a snake, different plants, those are living things. But you can also see sand, rocks, those are non-living things. Now we are dealing with the physical environment. The physical environment is made up of the non-living things in an ecosystem, which are rocks, water, air. It also includes factors such as temperature, humidity and light. Now we are going to talk about types of physical environments. There are two main types. Terrestrial environments, they are found on land and are surrounded by air. Here you are a picture. And aquatic environments, and they are divided into fresh water with rivers and lakes and salt water, seas and oceans. Finally, we are dealing with living things. Every ecosystem has a particular flora, which are plants, and fauna, which are animals. All living things are grouped into species. Only members of the same species can successfully reproduce. For example, trees can only reproduce with the same types of trees. They cannot reproduce with other animals, for example. All organisms of one species make up a population, and all populations make up a community. I will give you an example afterwards. Finally, the biosphere is made up of all the living things on Earth. As I told you, I'm giving an example of organism, population and community. Imagine you are in a forest with a lake and you are going to see ducks, right? One duck is an organism. All ducks in that forest make a population, ducks population, but ducks are not alone. They live with some other trees, bushes, other animals, all those living things make up the community of that ecosystem. I hope you like it, I hope you learned something, and see you soon. Bye bye!